Hi folks, TJ here. Game of the week time again. This one is recommended by Sean Miller. He actually posted a picture of this game over in the Sir Clive Pub Facebook group. Is that the proper name? I'll put the link down below. Fun group to jump onto if you're not already on there. Uh, it's always fun on Fridays. For some reason, I like visiting that group on Fridays because it's the start of the weekend. And a pub seems appropriate to uh, consume both fun Sinclair stuff and a drink at the same time. I got something in my eye. Uh, so, yeah. Go check out the group. Meanwhile, the game of the week is called Aquaplane. Looks fun. Sean said it was one of his favorite games as a youth and so I've got the text printed out over on the screen. I'll read off the destructions to you. And then we'll give the game a whirl and try it out. It's a skiing game. When's the last time I went water skiing? A uh, long time ago. <laughs> 1980s. I did have a friend that uh, his parents had a boat. Or uncle had a boat. And we would go water skiing periodically in the summer. Maybe once or twice. And I was pretty good on two skis. I could never single ski. What I could not get up for the life of me. I would wiggle and jiggle. Two skis was fine. One, no. I did have one ski fall off once, though, as I was going, and I was able to keep going on one ski for a while, if that's something. Anyway, the game was made by Quicksilva. It's called Aquaplane, and it says the story. This morning, I had risen early to take in the brilliant sunshine of the... Oh, geez, this is like a French word. Quat des Azures. <laughs> C-O-T-E-D-A-Z-U-R. Code des Okay, I have no idea. I probably just swore three times in a row saying your mother looks funny or something. So don't beat me up. I'm just pronouncing what it looks like. Uh, in the height of the season, the contrasting blues of the sea and sky provide a perfect backdrop as I relax with a pernil and lemonade and lots of ice. Only the occasional sound of seagulls disturbs my peace as I become engrossed in... I sound like Dracula again. I just played a Dracula game for the Intellivision. Uh, so I'm going to probably sound like Dracula. Uh, engrossed in Volume 3 of the Chronicles of the Faluvian Empire. What an epic book. Wow, this is really telling a story. However, by 10 a.m., the temperature had reached the low 90s, and the blistering hot sand is now unbearable to lie upon. I must cool off. My companion suggests water skiing. Well, the sea seems calm enough for a mere novice like myself. By the way, have you ever stepped on sand that was so scalding hot, you got blisters on your feet, and you're ah, oh, ah, ee, oh, oh, trying to get to a blanket? Oh, yeah, I've had that happen a few times. The boat is started and is soon skimming across the bay whilst, whilst I aquaplane along behind it, parting the still blue surface of the water like a giant cheese wire. Okay? I see rocks and driftwood ahead. We must come too far. I shout to my companion, but my voice is lost beneath the steady throbbing of the speedboat's powerful engine. Soon we are both ducking, weaving, and threading our way through fighting for survival. Ooh. Thank God the rocks are gone. But ahead, I see Regatta Day. <laughs> wow, this is really a story. Yachts follow eccentric tracks across a path, but miraculously we find a way through without following the line, only to be met by a flotilla of gin and tonic cruisers being driven by inexperienced rich kids who seem determined to finish me off. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the Kardashians are on that. <laughs> I hate those shows. I really hate reality shows to a core. So stupid. Okay, uh, enough of that. I gotta scroll down. This is one big ass long story. Sorry for my swear. Eh, it's not a swear. Ass is really a donkey, right? Okay, uh, without following the line, we can't turn. Uh, let's see, rich kids. Okay, gotcha. Don't know they're there. Uh, don't they know there's a speed limit this far inshore? Okay, ahead I see sharks. Wow. We can't turn with so many G's and T's in the way. I hope I live to regret this escapade. I hope I live to regret this escapade. Or will I provide these mean marine devouring machines with an early lunch? Loading program. We don't need to read that. And it's made by John Hollis at Quicksilva. And that's it. So...
Let me turn off the screen because it puts a glare, as I've said before. Let's start up the computer, the specy next, and get to the browser. Turn up the sound a little bit. Aquaplane.tap. I'll hit one. Aquaplane, 1983, Jay Hollis, looting, please. So this is a 48K game. Hopefully it works right in, in uh, Specky 128 mode. Loading, please wait. These are always confusing a little bit. I've had some games like this that come up and they stay that way forever. And then I've just in the past let it go for a little bit and then I hit a key in the keyboard and then it works. So I'm guessing it's probably, you know, hey, it's loading a cassette and loading, please wait. And then eventually it comes up. But obviously we're loading from a, a SD card. So I'm going to just hit uh, enter and see what happens. Oh, hey, it worked. Aquaplane, S to start, H to hold. Oh, this, I don't like these keys. Oh, but it says, kept, oh, kept the joystick. Okay, uh, today's greatest zero. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm going to do J. Oh! Oh, I like to speed really slow. So I've got a, oh, this is loud. Okay, so I guess I just need to bob and weave. Oh, you can go faster. Oh, you got two. You got two on here, and you got. Oh! Oh, did I hit a rock? Oh, so the object is not to hit. No, I don't think I hit it. Oh, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, go up. You can't go up further. Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. So you got to bob and weave two characters so you don't hit whatever you're trying. So I'm gonna go up. There's a log, there's a rock. You can speed up. I've got a hundred points. Oh, 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 oh. And then the thing disappears behind you after you surpass it. Cool. Neat, neat the idea. So it's a scrolling game. You've got to keep a speed up a little bit. Otherwise, you kind of go backwards. Or it seems like... Hey! Phase complete. Bonus points 200. Wow, I've got this loud. Oh, there's a sailboat up there. You know, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look right up there. I have a feeling that I need to select the 48. Oh, game! But we'll keep keep up with this since... Oh! Oh, sailboat! Oh, yeah, look how I bobbed and weaved. I bobbed and weaved totally on that one. Oh, no, you're bobbing and weaving down! Oh, yeah, I did good. I did good. This is kind of fun. You've got two characters you need to really pay attention to. Uh, 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 up, uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, Bob and Weave! Bob and, oh, oh, up, 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 up! There you go, there you go. Oh, the sailboats are tricky. Okay, down, down. Oh, yeah, I'm jamming now, jamming. Jamming in the USA means you're going fast. I don't know if you have that overseas. Jamming? Maybe you're making some jam on crumpets right now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm jamming. The mountains behind me don't, don't look right, though. I have a feeling that's a... Oh! Phase complete! I am kicking Batuski. I like this game, Sean. Oh, that's a big boat, and he's fast. Oh! Faster! Oh! Go low! Oh, oh there's a rock again. Oh, oh! Tricky! Oh, oh! Sound effects are overall pretty good. I like them. There's a log. Oh, don't. That's good, that's good. Oh! Bob and Weave! Down! Oh! 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 Oh, down! So far, I'm doing damn good, I think. Kind of, you know, it's not really a fast speedboat. <laughs> Fortunately, and I don't know if there's a speed. Oh, oh, he got me, you sons of the. Okay, I'm still doing pretty good. Oh, oh, phase complete. Bonus points. So that's, what, three phases I've completed? I like this. Oh, what's that? A shark. Shark week. Oh, they're smart sharks. Oh, you, oh, they move with me, you suck. Oh, oh, did you see that one? That was like Jaws. That's, oh, oh, God, the sharks. No, no, you, oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. This shirt that is so freaking awesome. That is so cool. Um T oh, I guess I gotta use the keyboard for this. Uh Oh it's not working. Oh you gotta use this key up here. T Space? No. Oh god. Uh, you have reached the today's highest scores. Use up and down to select the correct letter, then press fire. Oh, what was the fire button? I don't remember. I didn't watch the keyboard. Oh, it's nine. Uh, arrow. Is it nine? Zero. Zero. Okay, and then how about this periods? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Just S, uh, uh, just, TJ! Yeah! Look at that. So uh, let me, let me try hitting four and see if the mountains uh, come up. So look at that. TJ kick butt. Okay, uh, let me reset this. Browser, Aquaplane, four this time. Let's see if those mountains look right. Let's please wait. Please wait. <laughs> I don't want to wait that long. No, it still looks funky. Maybe that's just the way the game is. Um, Jay? Yeah, that's the way the game is. So, uh, I think that's enough. I think I showed you how good I, I ski. It was really fun idea. I like it. You've got to watch two characters, maintain them, understand where they are. You're dodging rock. Those sharks! Those freaking sharks! Oh, man, those were vicious. They take out boats. It was like Jaws all over again. And it is Halloween, so maybe I should go play some Jaws. That's a spooky-ass movie, right? So, Aquaplane, great game, Sean. I agree with you. This is a very fun one. Hopefully, everybody on the Sinclair Society Facebook group enjoy this game over the week. Play it. Report down below in the Sinclair Facebook group, Sinclair Society Facebook group, what your score is, how you liked it, and we'll come back with another game next week. But for now, play this one. It's really fun.